limitations and exceptions. Hey everybody, you know I love watching animals, whether it's at the zoo or in the wild. In fact, if you watch animals closely, you can kind of tell what their role is in their environment. Specifically, if you look at adaptations, that gives you a great clue. Today we're talking about claws. Just about every mammal we know of has some sort of claw. Could be bears or opossums, skunks even, or, or maybe even bats. They all have claws. So what do claws look like that are for digging? Well, they usually come out from the foot and they're curved a bit. Well, like my friend the meerkat over here, great community diggers all day long. That's what they do is dig. Another one of my favorite diggers right here in North America, the skunk. Cute little stinkers, aren't they? Now they'll tear up my lawn looking for grub, but they also spend a lot of time out in the wild digging up, looking for bugs and insects and other fun things to eat. They're omnivorous, so they sometimes will eat meat too. Speaking of eating meat, one of the biggest digging claws you'll ever see, look at that right there, grizzly bear paw. Those guys not only dig for maybe a den for hibernating in, but they'll tear open trees or rip up stumps to get to food sources as well. What about a claw for climbing? Well, they're a little bit different than the digging claw, like we know is long and curved. Well, these are shorter and hooked right away so they can get a good grip. So who has sharp hooked claws that are great for climbing? Well, the adorable koala, of course. Now they have to have very sharp, strong claws for going up and down those eucalyptus trees, which by the way, if you didn't know, have very smooth bark. Speaking of sharp hooked claw, no, no, put the bear, the bear goes in the box, guys. No, put them in the box. Okay. Speaking of predatory and sharp hook claws, the polar bear. Life on the ice can be very slippery, so those sharp hook claws help give traction to them, but also important because they hunt the slippery seal, and when they grab the seal, they have to be able to hold on. And now you know, if you see a mammal with claws that come out from the foot and are hooked at the end, that's for digging. And if you see a mammal with sharp hooked claws, it's either for climbing or grabbing prey. What's the exception? Ah uh, yes, always exceptions to the rule. What about dogs and cheetahs? Well check it out, their claws are always out and kind of blunt on the end. They work a lot like the cleats for a football player or a soccer player, always out to give traction while running. Another exception, the echidna. They don't have long claws that stick out from the foot, but they're great diggers. Their claws, well, they're more paddle-like or shovel-like, perfect for digging. Next time you are out in nature, can you find the exceptions to the rules? They are everywhere. <laughs>